Now when fly fishing for salmon, it's pretty inevitable that you're going to come across other fish species, in or out of season, whether you're allowed to fish for them or not. Unfortunately, they haven't read the rule book. And this is especially true when using smaller flies in summer. <laughs> what are you? I don't know what you are. Come off. Our friend the chub is the most often visitor. They do seem very keen. Larger brown trout too. But there is one species that you may come across in May or early June, especially on the Severn or here on the Wye, and that's a fish that requires very gentle and delicate handling. Protected by law, it is a master of self-release, but sometimes well, they do just hang on. Looks like a trout. Pretty well. Maybe a chip. Who's the flies working? Anything else? Are you okay? Let it be. Let's have a look at you. Hey! Hello, baby. Hey! Oh no, it's a shad. Get you as close as we can and then I'll hook you with a forceps because we don't want to touch you, do we? Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Stop doing that. Yep. Forceps on and unhook without touching. Now, whether it's folklore or rumour, some people say that there are some sea fish species that don't like being handled mackerel and herring. And as the shad is a member of the herring family, a very close cousin it's been suggested that you shouldn't touch them. Now, until there's evidence, one way or the other, I was trying to, not to touch them at all and to release them using forceps. I'm hooking shad. Very delicate fish. That, being a member of the herring family, does not like being handled. So, down. Keep the line not 
too tight. Bring it in. Will not touch the fish. And just let it sit in the water. We will then get our forceps on the hook and release the fish without touching it. And here it goes. I don't know if it's right about touching the fish to cause some harm, but at least doing it that way, there is a doubt, which we haven't handled it. All we've got to do is sort out this heap tangled line. 